Hey everyone, I just wanted to come on here and thank all of you for donating to my GoFundMe and listening to my videos. Excuse the noise. Um, but I forgot to mention something in my last video that was very important. And that was the root cause of um, the situation where I am now. So, and also, I did want to address that. So, in my videos, as I'm speaking about what's going on with me in my current experience, I'm not going to claim um, this disease or um, claim it or even um, have it as a desire. So, I'm not going to say it's mine. I'm not going to say I have it. I'm not going to say anything that has to, that is contrary to my desire right so words are powerful so I'm gonna say this disease or my current experience or challenges with the disease that's just how I, I speak and that's how it is um, I just feel more, most comfortable with that um, so that's just as a reference for now and future videos I know someone can say why is she being so vague why is she not saying it I am not saying it because I do not claim it it's not mine it is um, an experience I'm going through and I desire it to be out of my experience so that's how I'm speaking about it okay so I just wanted to get that clear um, but also the root cause so when I went to the functional doctor um, you know she was saying wow you're pretty young it's not you know all that common um, to, to experience this right now so and she also said you're pretty healthy and you work out your lifestyle you know i want to get down to the root cause of why this happened so she did a little test i'm not sure what test it was but she said okay um so her test came back positive and what she was looking for um she said basically 90 percent of the time that someone has um a disease there there's the root cause of is something that you don't even think about and so what she found out was that the root cause of what's going on with me is through some kind of dental infection um, that my body was fighting off so she's like you know the body always fights things off and your body I'm sure was healthy enough to fight anything off and most immune systems are whether it be cancer or whatever, it usually takes care of it, unless it's preoccupied with fighting something else off. So at the time, um, I could have been fighting off a dental infection, um, some kind of abscess or something that was going on. And when she said that, um, I remember clearly several years ago, I was suffering from really, really, really bad toothaches. Um, I mean, I had a headache, my face swelled, I could hardly swallow, like this was, this was very consistent. I took care of the tooth, but it went on for a while. Um, and then the doctor also said that sometimes when you get a tooth extracted or even through root canals, bacteria can get in there or the cavity is not cleaned well enough so that um, it festers and it becomes uh, a, a bone infection. And so that could still be going on right now. So when pathogens come in and your body and your immune system um, is busy fighting off something else, whether it be a virus or infection, pathogens can sneak in the back door and go unnoticed for a very long time until that initial infection, whatever it's fighting off is taken care of, then it can turn its attention to fight off what's going on. So that, was um, surprising, you know, it makes sense. But just looking at, first of all, our current dental care in the United States, um, expenses, dental expenses are so ridiculous. Um, coverage is inadequate. And um, I was actually watching a documentary the other week and um, they made uh, they mentioned a statistic and they said that 70% of outgoing flights from the US are to Mexico for dental tourism and I'm like mm, what's dental tourism and so it's a thing that 
people leave the United States on a, for a day. Now, these are not celebrities. They're not very wealthy people. These are regular, everyday people that need dental care. And they fly or they cross the border to uh, Mexico and they see a provider there. And there are certain towns that have made their living that really survive off of tourists coming in and this thing called dental tourism because the dental care is so much cheaper, but it's excellent at the same time. So um, we got to look at <laughs> these things that's going on. Yes, dental care is important. It is very important. Now I'm letting you know that's important based on my experience but also how can we combat the, the dental care how can we get the care that we need how can we get these things taken care of so i'm giving you information as i'm finding it out do your research if you're in a situation where you've been dealing with some dental issue get it taken care of um check out the different cities in mexico that have um really really great providers um, if I go back to the, to the documentary, I'll let you know the town, the specific town that was mentioned in the documentary. But if you look it up, do your research, please, you know, find the information. If you find out what it is, put a comment below, put it in there so everyone else knows. But I just wanted to share that information, share the source of um, why I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing. Um, that's surprising and it could help a lot of people. If I had known that, I would definitely would have taken care of things sooner. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come and share that with you. I'll definitely keep you updated. So the first step is to see a dentist. <laughs> Not just any dentist, but a holistic dentist or a bio dentist because dentistry um, uses a lot of toxic materials and substances like formaldehyde, bleach, different things. Um, even if you have a mercury filling, some people are getting those removed, but it's in the way they're being removed that can also be toxic as well. So my next step is to see a holistic dentist to get that taken care of, to see what it is, if it's still there. Because I can take all the treatments I want, it's not gonna do anything if I don't get that taken care of. Because it's like a toxic leak leaking into your bloodstream all the time. Your body is just consistently trying to fight it. So my next video will probably be at the holistic dentist. So I just wanted to let you know and share that with you. If you have any comments, drop it below and I'll see you next time.